Paint Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios and today we're doing some Briarfest preparations. I have all of my show string out of what I'm taking to the uh, Stone Age live show. I'm actually not doing the Briarfest show this year. It's a little too hectic Friday to worry about doing the Briarfest show, um, unlike last year. However, I am still doing Saturday's Stone show. So I do have about 45, 50 horses here and we're gonna go through them so uh, I can show you guys names and what breeds they go as and just everything in relation to how my show string usually works. So let's get started. So I'll show you this in my live show guide too, but I always print out a copy of the class list. And as you can see, I have written um, everybody's name next to the class that they need to go in. And this is just copy and pasted right from Stone's website. Uh, sometimes depending on how they actually write up class lists, I'll make my own. Um, I will retype it and everything, but this one just copied and pasted it into a Word document and then printed. So let's get started. Um, let's see, it starts out with my first class is our regular run stones. Um, so that would be Megan is this first one. And this is um, Hello Megan. For any of you guys who watched Young Justice, you would recognize that. It's the phrase that Megan always says. Taps the side of her head, Hello Megan. But she is my British riding pony. She always does spectacularly. And then we have um, Mischief Managed, or Loki. Um, if you guys have ever seen uh, Cinnamon Mew Mew's Conquering Tide series, this is one of the main characters. And I absolutely love his design. Amy did a beautiful job on him. Next up, I have um, Chaco Chex Mix, who is this little guy. I show him as a um, Canadian sport horse. Really cute. I believe the initial uh, name of the horse is Ides of March. And then moving down to other pure light mix. Um, this is my uh, 2016 design horse, um, Careless Whisper, who I show as a Camarillo white horse. Um, lots of documentation in order to um, make that seem accurate. Keep moving down the line. I gotta turn my page here. Next up, we're getting into the one of a kind limited run. Um, next is Wendy. So this is actually Wendy Darling. She was a special run from last year. Little chip paint, um, little cutter. Uh, I do have the cow, but I'm actually not bringing the cow with me, so I just have Wendy. In my Mustang class, um, for those of you who have seen the uh, Stone Country Fair video, you guys would probably remember Liquor. Um, this is Can't Be Liquor, and he is going to be my Mustang for this time around, because I finally have a stone Mustang. And yes, I did not sell this guy like I intended to. This is Equalizer or um, Friend Like Me. I call him Genie. And he is uh, my um, Australian stock horse. And he'll be going in uh, limited run, other stock breed. And then, let's see, we have our sport. So the next one's Jenna. And she is a portrait horse of my real Tricaner mare. So that's what she's showing as, as a Tricaner and Pepper. Uh, this guy's really cool. I found him on the bottom of a, uh, basically a rummage sale box. And he's actually like some sort of trophy model. Um, it's estimated that there's probably about eight of him, but I do show him as an American warm blood and he does very well. He's got some lovely shading and the gloss makes all his dapples pop. Beautiful boy. Um, Pi is my national show horse. If you guys have seen the Stone Country Fair video, um, you would know this guy too. He's my paint your own from this year. And I'm really excited to actually take him out to a show because I didn't get to show him at Stone Country Fair. He was up for judging at the time. So this will be his first show outing will be um, Stone Age Live. Starting with Stone Foals. The only Stone Foal I have is Sunny. And she's my little uh, run of six that Peter signed um, in 2015. And she's just... Uh, little ray of sunshine. I mean, look at that angry face. But she's my little paint pole. Um, for decorators, I have Figment, um, Into Imagination, or Figment, and he's my little dinner chip from last year. He's actually, um, I think I might have shown this off in the collection tour, but he is um, purple with like gold uh, flecking all over, and some little teeny dapples, and you can see that when I move around. And then Ozymandias, uh, for you Watchmen fans, 
is um, my t-shirt model that I got from last year's Briarfest, and he's my uh, sport type decorator for stone. Peter also signed him too. Moving into regular run briars, I'm starting out my uh, draft uh, draft and exotics list. This is Blizzard Warning, or um, you guys will probably know him as Flurry, and he's my Shire. Then we have um, Mr. Mixispidlik, or Mix, for um, my European draft. He is an Ardenius. Uh, that name actually comes from uh, the Superman comics, if you guys have ever read the Superman comics. Mr. Mixie Spidlick. Soleil is my American Cream Draft, um, or Pomplamoose. And he is a JAH special run. And now this guy had an unfortunate accident with his ear a couple of years ago where it got totally bent out of shape. Um, it is possible to get it back. I did. Um, and he also, I didn't show him for a while because he had the weirdest green streak going down his shoulder. It was like right here, just bright lime green streak and I did manage to get it fixed. So he's coming with me this time. For my long ears and exotics, I only have one and it's my mule, uh, Blue Rhythmico, or um, you guys will probably know this particular model as Sergeant. For my ponies, I am taking um, another horse named after a DC Comics character, Icicle Jr., or Icicle, and he was a limited edition 2013 but incredibly cute Welsh Pony, and I love the bouncer mold. I usually take um, my POA, my Forever Sage, I show her as a POA for American uh, Pony, but this year I'm taking my Beachcomber. Uh, her name is Sandy Cheeks. Yes, like the SpongeBob character. I was trying to find something um, kind, of, kind of funny, kind of quirky, and Sandy sort of stuck, and my mom was the one who decided I should name her after a SpongeBob character. So sandy cheeks. And then going into my stock breeds, I sold my other Roxy. Um, so this is my only Roxy left. I used to have two quarter horses I would take. Um, but this is Arendelle, and she was the uh, 2013 um, surprise horse for, uh, she was a CC shuffle model. Probably one of my favorites. My paint is um, Before You Go-Go, like the 80s song. And she's uh, the original Bobby Joe. She typically does really well in shows, um, just as a paint. Um, mine happens to have really, really nice eyes and mapping. As you can see, she's a very pretty girl. Probably my favorite uh, Premier Club mold. And then my little Appaloosa. I'm not taking Matrix with me this time, my other Appaloosa, so I'm taking this little guy whose name is Mad Hatter. And he's going to be my Appaloosa this time around to see how that goes. Going on to the sports, sport carriage and Spanish breeds. My class list is usually a lot bigger than this simply because I have a lot of warm bloods. But you guys didn't get to see her a lot that last time around, but this is my glossy Rachel Alexandra, run of 30. I used to have two of them and I sold the other one. Um, but this is Bleeding Hearts and she is my thoroughbred. Do a little bit of turnaround for you there, up close. She's still a very pretty girl. She's really dusty. She's been sitting out um, since earlier today, getting ready. So I'll have to bring a cloth with me and everything, but beautiful girl. And I know pretty much all of you have probably seen Acadia already, my Acadia. His name is Paladin, or um, barn name, I call him Cecil. But he is absolutely gorgeous, and he's going to be a Swedish warm blood. I found a lot of references of a Swedish warm blood with very similar coloration to him. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then we have, over on the other bed in here, uh, my Spanish Brie. I'm taking, um, his name is Desiderio, or Sid, I call him, and he is my Criollo. Lovely, lovely dorsal striping. And he is um, two-step from Briarfest 2013. He's probably one of my best Spanish molds. Going down into the light breed, I don't actually really have an Arab that I'm taking with me this time. I'm hoping to get Kali in the special run line so that she can be my Arab. But in the part Arab, this is um, Hey There Miss, or Delilah. And she actually uh, won me that particular Rachel Alexandra that I showed you guys. 
she won her for me in the 2010 Briarfest uh, kids show. So she's my go-to, uh, she's my go-to part Arab. She actually does have some rubs. Um, I did used to play with her when I was a kid, but that hasn't really affected how she's shown. So win-win for me, I guess. Moving on to um, more light and gated breeds. This is Apollo, Apollo 13. He's my Morgan. Really lovely boy. He's he never lets me down as far as placings go. Um, this you guys would know him as the 2013 special run uh, Ryman, but I actually call him Paranorman, like the um, like a um, claymation video or the claymation uh, movie. And as you can see, he looks terrified of everything. So we call him Paranorman simply because of those eyes. <laughs> just cracks me up every time I see him that he has those lovely ter terrified eyes for my um, other other mixed light um, I'm actually keeping one of the Nazrudens we're getting uh, the celebration horse so he will be showing in that don't have a name for him but if we're moving on to foals my stock breed foal is going to be this little guy this little Appaloosa who I have named Rorschach um, which is another reference to the Watchmen movie and graphic novel. He's my Appaloosa. I don't have a light breed foal this time around, um, but I do have a sport breed foal. I usually take Tucker, but I'm actually going to take this little girl this year. who her, We have named her Serafina, and she's going to be a Lipzon foal. So I want to see how this little girl does, so I'm super excited to take her down there. I have a lot of first timers going, so this will be really fun. Um, another one of my foals, who's over on the other bay, is this guy. Um, I have named him Cat Tracks, because of all the little cat tracks all over him. But he's my Spanish breed foal and I show him as a Campolina, along with his mom. But I'm not taking his mom this time around. Um, because you guys loved her so much, I'm taking my cave horse this year as my decorator instead of any of my others. So hopefully cave horse doesn't let me down. I still really like her, but we'll see how she shows this time around because I have not taken her anywhere in a very long time. Um, and then Billy. This is Billy, my unicorn. Uh, his name is actually Shazam, but barn name is Billy like um, the DC Comics character. If you haven't noticed, I name a lot of my horses after uh, pop culture references. Superheroes, movies, books, etc. Going down into the customs. This guy I did not actually paint. I found him um, in the same rubbish sale box that I found uh, Chaco Check Mix and Peppered Gold. Uh, those two uh, little stone warm bloods. But this guy is precious and I, I have named him Batwing. And he has a lot of nan cards and a lot of, <laughs> a lot of ribbons. He's my little uh, Welsh section A. If you look at his tail, he's got a really pretty braided tail, nice braided mane. I'm thinking he's a um, stablemate jumper, just uh, totally revamped. But I don't know for sure, and he's not signed, so I don't know who the artist is. So if anybody has seen this guy before, um, see if you see if you know who the artist is, because I don't. Um, next are stock customs. So this little guy is done by me. His name is Hudson Marks. Um, my friends Anna and Scott named him. Shout out to you guys. But he does have his little freeze brand and his little ermine spots. And he has one blue eye, yep, on this side, and one brown eye. Now he is for sale if you guys are interested in Hudson. And my other Mustang custom, I tried not to not to do two horses per class this time around, seeing as we don't have a lot of spot space in the car. But this guy just comes with me no matter what. Um, he's my personal, uh, a custom I did for myself, and his name is Tashunka. So he's the wild bronc resin, um, just totally tricked out to be a medicine hat pinto with like little kissy spots, and he's got really pretty blue eyes. Yep, and a glossed mouth and nose. Oh, he's like really derpy. Ah. <laughs> but he's my go-to Mustang. He actually placed sixth for me at the Briarfest Open show last year, so I was really proud of him. Heart Arab Customs. 
This is Red Robin. Another one that I didn't do, but this is the person who customized him. I still have not been able to find out who this is. So if any of you guys have seen this signature before, let me know in the comments below. But he is my part Arab, and I absolutely adore him. He came out of the same sort of rummage sale box that Batwing did. Um, oh, and then I don't have him up here. But my other little custom that I'm bringing for the American Saddlebred uh, class is named Pikachu, and he's one of my more recent customs, and he's a Palomino Pinto Saddlebred. I have to find him. Um, foals, custom foals. This is Framed in Perfection. She's a little Frame Overo uh, Tennessee Walker filly that I bought for 20 bucks. And she has won me a lot of ribbons. She's won me a lot of ribbons, but she's absolutely adorable. And I take her like everywhere. <laughs> I'm not sure who quite painted her either. I know the last name is Boyer. Uh, I don't know the first name on her, but I'd really like to know who customized her because she is very, very cute. And rounding out my class list, my only artist resin that I have painted currently is Sanku. And um, for those of you who kept up with the blog, I'm sorry I have not updated that by the way, but for those of you who kept up with the blog, you would recognize Sanku from the um, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Pony Fish blog entry. And that was when I was customizing this guy. Um, I was originally going to bring him and Pisces, but then uh, Pisces sold uh, two weeks ago, I believe. And he has a new home now. So I just have Sanku. And he is my personal piece, uh, for now, until I decide to get another. Oh, and I didn't- I did not rate this guy on here. Whoops. I have two left. Um, this is my little custom zebra foal. His mama is in progress. He's not- and he will be for sale, just not yet. I want to get his mom done first before I sell him. But this is Zeddymore. Like, Winston Zeddymore of the Ghostbusters. And he's another one that never really fails to place. He's one of my favorites. I'll give you guys a nice close look at all that detail. All the striping. It takes uh, not only hours, but days to do all the striping on these little zebras, but stripes are some of my favorite things to paint. And then we have Shadow's Ghost. And this is another custom by me, just a simple uh, Carmelo on the buckshot mold. And he is also for sale. So if you guys are interested, just let me know, shoot me an email, and I can get you some more pictures and whatever. All right, so there you have it. There's my class list for the uh, Stone Age Live open show, uh, Saturday of Briarfest. I will be there however long that show takes. I don't know how much I'll be at the park on Saturday, um, unless I'm going back for special runs and whatever, but uh, until the day actually comes, I won't really know. I don't know how long the show is gonna last. But I will be updating from Briarfest daily. Um, I'm bringing my laptop down with me. I might be able to do some Instagram uh, and Facebook lives for you guys so you can see what's going on as it's going on. Um, that would be really fun. And I hope to see some of you down there. I, I would hope that I'm going to the YouTube meet. Um, I believe this time I will, seeing as I actually have a YouTube channel. And don't forget that if you find our car, our car down there, sorry, super accent, if you find our car down there, don't forget to take a selfie with the um, decal on the back and either tag us in it, remember PPS Briarfest 2017, or uh, share it right to the Facebook page. And the Sunday night of Briarfest, I will find all the posts and I will add them all up and I will draw who is actually going to win uh, the little mini custom of Paloma. So until then, Pony Pals, until next video, bye! This is Pikachu. And it's not like Pikachu the Pokemon, it's like peek at you. But if you say it really fast, it is the Pokemon.